Um, no, it's it was a hell of a battle. I think it was, it was really tough out there. You know, um, I think they, um, they, they they kept the ball a bit better than us. Second half, they kicked maybe a bit better than us. Um, but you know what? If you can grind out these wins, doesn't matter how ugly you are. At the end of the day, you're in a semi-final, so it's amazing. Still the six men and then the five and all. <laughs> Mate, it was just amazing having fun with my friends out there. Um, a oh, great spirit, great heart shown during the game, and that's what you unfortunately miss. You miss the, uh, the feeling of uh, jubilation and and sadness when you lose. But oh, mate, it's a great feeling. Oh, mate, it was uh, to be expected. I, I must say, Cello, uh, I back him 100% uh, when he takes those long shots. I was actually very. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I'd much rather win by 50 odd points, but unfortunately when you play top side, that's not always the way. I'm um, just so happy, so pleased for everyone involved. It was a, a massive 80 minute performance and I'm happy to come away with it. I feel amazing, yeah, as small as you said, you know. Whatever the outcome of that game, then we've been incredibly proud to be part of this group because things didn't go our way, we didn't play that well, but the effort of the boys was different level, so yeah, we're delighted. What does that say about the It says a huge amount because you know it would have been easy for us to follow. They were a top team and, and they brought it and, and they were running from everywhere with some big runners and we just kept getting for floor, kept stopping them and waited for a chance in 80th minute. Cello with his big balls because he sticks it over. kick it's from about 43 against the wind and it's sailed over he's hit it it's gone off like a rocket it's just an incredible nudge it's a great day no I feel very very happy not only for myself also for the team for the club uh, we put a lot of effort today in this match uh, against a team that they finish at the first of the table after the pool session so uh, I'm very happy very happy for for this day I think that we'll enjoy it but uh, well after this one we have uh, Leicester for the Premiership it's a key match for us at home and after Clermont so well it's only big matches ahead of us so well now we're going to enjoy it as I told you but after we have to get back to work because there's a long way up to the end of the season. When it's two points and you don't think it's gone, yeah. you can never think that way. My assessment was that I thought in the first half, um, we didn't play great to be honest. I, I thought we had use of a very strong wind. They gave us use of a very strong wind in the first half and um, although we had some field position, we, we were unable to build any kind of pressure. We had a scrum five metres from their line, important scrum. You got to take advantage in these kind of games of those we lost that scrum and give away a penalty. And three minutes later, they scored a try and we've somebody in the same bin. Um, so those things generally are very important in these kind of games. We didn't defend as well as we as we normally do in that first half as well. So 6-5 up for us at half time. Felt like a mountain to climb, to be honest, into that very strong win when you got Johnny Sexton playing 10 for the opposition. Um, but that's where it turned around. I would say that our second half performance was as courageous and as brave and as hard working as, as I've seen and put them under unbelievable pressure even though they had a strong wind. Um, we went hunting and we, we kept on knocking them down and scrapping for absolutely everything. And again, our, our, our rugby can be better. Um, it wasn't that kind of game, it wasn't a thing of beauty, the match, but we put them um, under enough pressure for them to make some errors along the way and give ourselves a chance. And, and it took until the 80th minute for that chance to finally arrive, but um, it was as a result of a lot of effort and courage before that. Do it's you a hell of a weapon to have in your, in your armoury, isn't it? The, 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 the really long range, the big long range kicker. 
um, you know, they may have paid it slightly differently. Well, well, I, I, was, I, was at the, I was at the field. top, and there was the penalty was given, so I thought, I'll, I'll come down to the bottom to watch the kick, and was surprised to see that this ball she was taking. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, because it was on the 10-meter line, and I thought, Guinness, that must be within Goody's range, um, because obviously Charlie was carrying an injury. Um, but it was, the wind was very strong, so it was Bosch's range, and uh, he had the nerve and the ball to say that he wanted it, which is half the battle, and he struck it pretty sweetly. In who, who, so who decided, we asked him, who would say to him, do you want it? That, who was on no, the I think Alex Good will assess whether it's in okay. his range or not. Yeah. And he was there, wasn't he? They were yeah, in the yeah. and, and, and is, is Marcelo generally a pretty nervous sort of character? I mean, he's pretty cool. Pressure. He's pretty cool, Marcelo. His, his wife's expecting twins um, pretty soon now, and hopefully everything's okay at that end. But no, he's 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 pretty laid back. But like anybody, you know, that's one of those kicks. If you miss, it can mm. cause some damage. And I'm very grateful that he didn't, and that he held his nerve. And he was very not just that. He, he obviously made the, the tackle on our goal line, which probably kept us in the match as well. And we've been putting them under a little bit of pressure. They broke out from 10 metres from their own line, went 90 metres, mm -hmm. and for Cello to get back and make that tackle uh, kept the game alive. That, how much better would you think you have to be to, to play? A lot, but yeah. sometimes the games though, are, sure. are the way they are, and you, you mustn't overanalyze these things. We've <coughs> come away from home to France against mm -hmm. a, a big, strong, very good team with outstanding half backs because Machino was mm -hmm. magnificent today, and, um, and we've won. And yeah. I think we've not worry too much about how we won and just worry about the fact that we won and to get into our third consecutive semi-final um, of this very tough competition um, says a lot about the, the players that we've got. How much of a relief is it that you'll have Clem on the relatively neutral territory? Well, given their records, I think they've lost one out of the last 90. In, in, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a relief. Uh, it's in France, but uh, I think it's, it's not quite the same as going to their home ground. Um, We've got some pretty tough fixtures coming up. We've got Leicester Tigers in a massive match for us um, next Saturday. Then that game, then Northampton Saints. So they're they're coming thick and fast. Um, you know, we've got some players coming back hopefully as well. Um, we're gonna have to spread the load during this period of time, but hopefully we can do that. You love Brad definitely by then, won't you? The semi-final. Yeah. I mean, not quite. Touch and go. And what? And in terms of it, as you said, it's your third time. Thing. Is, is that kind of what helps get you through moments like today? Possibly, probably, I know it depends, you've got to get a penalty to, to go, but it, it, it's probably an easy thing to say. But the fact that when you look at what Ronan O'Gara used to do for Munster mm, down the years, yeah. and they had some disappointments, Johnny Sexton used to do for Leinster, they lost quarter finals and semi finals before they started winning them. Mm. And I think we lost the quarter final to Claremont four years ago, and you know, all of a sudden that we lost the semi final to too long mm. two years ago. And I think you you saw out there that Rossing didn't really know how to win the game. You know, they, they had this big strong win, which um, they didn't utilise because of the pressure they were put under. And I think that's down to our team and mm. that um, ability to go and squeeze them and hunt them down, which we did unbelievably well for half an hour. I would have said that to the team had we lost the game as well, because we could easily have lost the game. But we should have a lot of courage in that second half.